add a new plugin. Click on add new at the top or uh, over here add new. Lightbox Plus. Lightbox Plus color box. Install now. Activate plugin. It's here. Awesome. Let's go to appearance. Lightbox Plus color box to define the settings. Let's go down here. Now you have to update these settings because Lightbox color box will not work. And Lightbox color box is a pain in the butt. Um, it's supposed to be the best one, but it doesn't, every time I try it, it doesn't work properly. So you have to tweak it. So general, uh, styles, when I go to styles, I click on black. I want to have that black background or dark area around the photo. Advanced, we don't need that. I'll press uh, for styles, I'm going to press save all settings. Okay, let's go down to the bottom, all the way to the bottom. There's another one here for general, size, position, interface, slideshow, other. Let's go to other. Make sure you click on file as photo and use class method. Do not uh, display image title. Let's click on that one too. Now let's click on save all settings. Hopefully this works. All right, we need to go to our, let me see, photos page. Click on pages and click on photos. We're going to add media. Don't have any files here yet. So I'm going to make the browser smaller, select my images on my desktop or wherever you have your images. I'm going to throw these images away once I put them in here. Usually I'll click on select files and go to my folder, drag them and drop them in here. All right, they're all selected. Over here, attachment display settings, make sure that link to media file is selected. We're not going to create a gallery. Do not create gallery. I repeat, do not create gallery. I've tried this five times now. Um, just insert into page and we'll make our own gallery because every time I try to make the gallery, it doesn't work. There we go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to press enter on the right side of each image to give it space. I'm going to press update and go to my photos page. Click photos to refresh it. Let's click on the first image. Awesome. It works. Click on the image. See, this is where it, this is where I get upset because it doesn't go to the next image. But the late box is working. Okay, that's fine. So now I have to go into the code to make these late boxes work. And this is what frustrates me about WordPress sometimes is I don't, uh, the, the plugins don't work properly. We have to go in and we have to manipulate. So let's go back to this page, the photos page in WordPress. Click on text. There we go. I know this one's working. I know that everyone is working, but they're not attached to each other. But I've done light boxes in Dreamweaver before, so I have a little bit of knowledge about this. So what I usually do is this is number 72 here. And this is number 72 here. I'm going to copy those and I'm going to replace them with this number and this number over and over again on each one each one 72. This is in the class and the REL. Class and REL, the relative and the class. We'll make them all the same. 72, 72, 72, 72, 72. Oops. That would be detailed. Remember? Detail and organization in web design. And knowing a little HTML and CSS doesn't hurt. Let's do it for each one. 
Let's update. Let's go back to the page. Refresh. Click on the first one. Ah, there we go. Now it's working. It's going to each image. And it goes right back to the first one again. Wonderful. Okay. Now I'm looking at this page and I'm, I don't like that it's very long. I want to have each image right here. So this is when Dreamweaver comes into play or a text editor. Let's do uh, click inside here, do a command A, command C, and let's open up Dreamweaver or any text editor that you have. I use Dreamweaver because it's easy visually to mess around with stuff. Come on. Create. Design. Actually, let's go in the body. Paste our code. Go to design mode. All right. Here we go. Let me see. I don't have a P tag on each one. It's funny. In, in, in WordPress, it there's a, um, a P tag for each one, or it goes down one. So what I'm going to do is click on the first image, go left with the arrow. I'm going to insert a table. Oh, a table? Insert a table? Yes. We're going to be using tables. Three rows, three columns. That's fine. And I'm going to put this one right here. Click and drag each one. There we go. Let's go to code mode. Let's make sure it has all the code wasn't is uh, not misplaced. Oh, see, there's a closing A tag that I missed somewhere. Where did that get missed at? All right, so this is when we go back, Command Z. Click on that one. Go to code mode. All right, it didn't grab that last A tag. Let's take this. Image source, yada, yada. Oh, I love that. They put the table inside of the image source. Look at that. It's right in there. Oh, sometimes Dreamweaver kills me. That's why we need to know the code. This is a perfect example. So let's go to split mode and click right here before the uh, image. Let's go right here. See, when I clicked on that and then I put and I went to the left and I put the table in. It was right before the A tag. Not good. Good to know code, isn't it? All right, let's insert a table here. This is really good to know. <laughs> you guys are learning something right now. All right, let's go to code mode. You can hear the frustration in my voice. I'm sorry if I'm being, if, if it sounds like I'm frustrated and because I am. All right, let's take the first one and do a command X. And the, the non-breaking space, let's highlight that and paste it. Let's take the next one. Do a command X. Go into the non-breaking space and paste it. Let's go to the next one. Command X. Non-breaking space and paste it. Command V. There we go. That's our first one. Let's go to the next one. Command X. And paste it. Next one. Command X. Paste and repeat. Command X, paste. Command X, and paste. And design mode. Okay. Now, these images are really big and I want to make them smaller. So we'll click on one and remember from our Dreamweaver, we can press shift or actually click on the image first and then press shift. It constrains the image and it goes a little smaller. There we go. Shift constraints, shift constrain, shift constrain, shift constrain, shift constrain. There we go. Click, shift constrain. All right. Our images are looking better. Some of them are a little off. This one's probably the, the one that's most off. So let's click on that one. Let's get rid of that one. We don't need that one. I want them to all look pretty. Let's get this one. Command X and let's put that in between the TDs. Paste it. So now I can click on this one, this row, and delete it. I press backspace. All right, so all of our images look pretty good height-wise and width-wise, except for this one. 
I could put that one on the end down here. So let's go to code mode again. Let's snag this one and drag it down here to get it out of the way. Click on this one and select it. Command X and put it here. Command V. Let's get this one. Command X. Paste it. Command V. Let's get this one. Command X and paste it. Command V. Design mode looks better. All right. Now we got to figure out do we make this one bigger or smaller or whatever? Looks good so far. Let's select the table like we did in Dreamweaver tutorials. Click on border zero, space zero, cell padding. Let's put in 10. Let's see what happens. That looks beautiful. I love it. Select it. Go to code mode. We're going to take all of that. Copy. Go back to WordPress and paste. And update. Go to visual if you want to check it out. It's what it's going to look like. Text. Refresh. There we go. There's our photos. Click on the first one, second one, third one. Ah, oh, isn't that wonderful? Beautiful. All right. So, good luck. This one is a tricky one.